Hello, in today's session we are going to see about the coating technology on glass. I am Swaminathan, I am associated with Singobin for the last 13 years. I am in charge for the coating operations in the Chennai plant. The topic for today will be basically the introduction on the need for coatings on glass and how do we add value on glass by coatings and the different processes of coating. First the online coating, we will study about the process, its advantages and its limitations. Then the offline coating process, we will detail about the process, the quality control methodology, the advantages and the limitations of the process. Why coated glass? What are the value additions on the glass that is achieved by coatings? Let us basically have a overview. First functionality can be in terms of energy savings, in terms of for buildings and exterior glazing applications. Second could be on for better aesthetics for anti-reflective and also for color glass and we can achieve good electrical properties in terms of display and photovoltaic applications and glasses are also easy to clean. So, that is that will be an added functionality by coatings and there can be heating properties where we will have you know, uh, uh, anti for anti froze and anti fog applications on that and last could be active glazings where we will have the glazing which will uh, respond to the at atmospheric conditions. So, these are the functionalities achieved by coatings on glass. Now, going forward let us understand uh, specifically the coatings for exterior glazing applications for buildings. A normal clear tinted glass can be made to be more performing by adding selective thin film coating on the glass. The thin film coatings can modify the appearance and gives it a advanced characteristics and functions. The basic functions that can be added on the glass could be the below. One could be in terms of solar control and control of light and heat transfer and better thermal insulation and improve the overall aesthetics of the building. So, the main functions of the coatings in terms of basic thermal insulation and solar control we will see in detail here. So, in terms of solar control what we have here is the solar spectrum where we will have the complete uh, solar spectrum in with the solar wave wavelength. Here in terms of the overall energy distribution the idea here is to let the maximum sunlight inside the building and cut the solar heat outside. So, uh, the coatings achieve this functionality and the application is mainly in terms of tropical climates where we will have the uh, added advantage in terms of reduced energy for air conditioners and controlling the daylight entry into the buildings. The second application is in terms of low emissivity where the interest is to keep the heat inside the building. Here the major uh, 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 no, the major uh, focus is on the controlling the emissions from the black body uh, emissions that is within the building. So, here the glass acts as a insulation uh, complete insulation material. So, so, the application here is in terms of mainly in coated uh, cold climates where we will have uh, for better thermal insulations and having daylight entry into the glass into the buildings. So, basically these functionalities are achieved by the major processes which can be categorized into two major uh, functionalities. One is online coatings and second is offline coating. We will see each of this in detail in the coming slides. First we will cover the online coating process. The online coating process it is traditionally a pyrolytic coating process which is applied in the float glass manufacturing process itself. Here the coating is fused onto the glass at high temperatures making it making the actual coating extremely hard and durable. These coatings are generally called as CVD or chemical vapor deposition coatings. These are also known as online coatings or hard coating reflective glass. These online coated glass can be processed in terms of standard uh, float glass process. They can be heat strengthened, toughened, laminated, curved and can be used in IGUs. These 
uh, you know uh, online quota glass is available in uh, clear and also in all the available tins that is produced by the major float glass manufacturers. Now let us move on to see the advantages of this online coating process. This online coating process by virtue of its scale of process it is a large production runs are possible and this is by, by, its, uh, by its scale it is highly economical and also the process is quite simple in, in it is not very complex and it is easy to install maintain and uh, manufacture. So, these are the major advantages of online coating process. Let us now understand the limitations of this online coating process. So, first we have only yes limited number of layers that is possible in terms of this online coating process. So, by virtue of limiting the number of layers, we also have the limits on the performance that is achieved by this online coatings. So, either in the terms of uh, limitations in terms of the energy savings that could be achieved or in terms of aesthetics that could be uh, uh, that is the limitation here. And by since the large scale process, we have limitations that it is not flexible. So, it cannot meet the customer's demand in terms of varied sizes and small production requirements or small uh, volume requirements and it is not scalable to meet the emerging market needs. Any new functionality that is needed by the market, we do not have the technology which can be uh, which can respond uh, to these needs. So, these are the major limitations in terms of the online coating process. Now, let us understand the offline coating process in detail. The offline coating process is it is actually a process which is happens outside the float glass uh, no, uh, line where the glass from the float line is coated with thin films that is metallic and dielectric thin films wherein we will achieve high enhanced performance and aesthetics. It is generally a PVD process in which plasma sputtering of target materials is done in a magnetron chamber to, to get the thin film deposit on the glass. So, there are several thin film layers that is deposited on the glass to achieve this enhanced performance and aesthetics on the glass. How is the coating process done? We will see it in more detail in the coming slides. This is the typical cross section of a uh, sputtering chamber. You can see here we have this chamber this entire chamber is kept under very high vacuum. The vacuum level could be in the range of 10 power minus 6 millibar range. Here we have in this sputtering environment in on the these are the rollers in which the glass the glass will be moving on the surface at a fixed line speed. The material that needs to be deposited on the glass is fixed here as a target material. This is the target material and the glass will be moving on the top of the rollers at a fixed line speed. This entire chamber is kept under ultra high vacuum. Now, so in this uh, vacuum environment, we now have the process gas which is normally an argon gas is pumped into this high vacuum chamber. What happens here is the and on top of this, we also have a high voltage potential which is applied between the chamber and the body of the chamber and the cathode. In this high voltage environment, the argon gets gets ionized and you no, know, it, it gets converted into argon ions and it forms a plasma around the material that is the target material that needs to be deposited on the glass. So, moving on, so this is also the, the entire plasma is concentrated on the surface of the targets by a combination of magnets and current. So, this is and we have also have the kinetic energy transfer taking place from the uh, you know, argon ions which is hitting on the surface of the target here. So, the argon ions bombard on the target surface forcing the atoms of the target to be released in the chamber and these target materials as uh, you know, from the surface of the target it falls on the glass sheet below and forming a thin film coating on the glass. This is how a thin film layer is coated on the glass like in a coating typical coating chamber we have uh, you know, a series of chambers wherein we have one layer on top of the other coated as per the needs of the product. So, let us now ad understand the advantages of this coating process. So, the main advantages are in terms of better density of coating and we uh, by this thin film coating we also achieve superior optical quality 
and we will have very high uniformity in terms of very good uniformity across the width of the uh, know, uh, glass layer and huge uh, range of products is possible as per the needs of the customer. We can manufacture both the, as we saw earlier the both anti solar and uh, low E range of products in this uh, offline coating process and this process is flexible and it can also adopt to the different needs of the coatings that is can be uh, emerging needs of the market can be addressed by new technologies that is uh, you know, possible from this uh, offline coating process. The limitations of this coating process is it needs capital investment and since the process is quite complex uh, it needs expertise in terms of both process management and also in terms of product development. So, we need deep process expertise here to manage this.